Hello, I'm Yok Boon. Welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you on how to change this sheet, the total sheet here to become like this in a dynamic way. Okay, let's say we have six items. You see, your six items, the total is down here. Let's say I delete this item. Okay, I delete. See four item then it goes down to four item. Let's say I pull here down, say I pull here to nine item. Okay, so it goes to nine item. So this is called dynamic the total. It becomes like this. So how to do this? Say we go here. Okay. So we have this sheet. Let's say we have this sheet. Then we have this uh this thing. Okay. So looking at this sheet, this is the common, uh, what I say, uh, document sheet. Okay, I mean, if, to start with, we click here, equal if, if this one equal greater than zero. Okay, comma. So give back the row, right, or give the blank okay that means it just want to pinpoint the uh, non blend so we copy down okay so that means you have that means all these numbers are the row position which is non blend okay so from here we equal small okay. so we want to compress the thing to be fixed and comma then row so row here means number two so but we want to be smallest we want one so we need to minus one okay so that means row here two minus one is one so we have enter see you get the smallest so in order to copy down we lock the thing not the range okay then we copy down okay so when there's a number error here that means we have to use if error to blank the error if the small function here is error return blank if not return the formula values okay and it become it. Okay. Once we reach here, so we want to pull the data based on this. So this heading and this heading is just a copy here on it. So we do like this equal H lookup. Look up the heading, comma in this comma, then is then the column is comma then exact okay? okay so we have one okay we have the one here okay the first then we we want to copy it we lock the heading the row we lock the range then we lock the side one the column g so if let's say we copy this one it will become error if let's say i copy here all the way down there's an error here so to add, to blank this we have to use if error and if this one blank okay and we copy down and we copy here Okay, so then since this one we don't want we copy okay delete. Okay. So then we do formatting accordingly. So this one is two and this one is uh, well, let's say we want the uh, okay formatting. So we have the answer. Okay, th this one are uh, supposed to have zero. Why just now don't have zero? Because I already use the uh, option function there. Means you go here, 
file you option here then advance okay so we go down here So the, under the display is show a zero in cell that have zero value. If let's say I click here, I have zero here. So I don't want, I go here again, option, advance. So I click here. So that means there's no zero. So that means there's no zero here. Okay? Okay. So once you reach this one you want the border to be there so in order to have the border we have to see this one is not equal to blank right if blank no border no blank got border so we go here we highlight here all the way down here okay then we go to conditional formatting okay new rule okay use formula click here okay. this one okay so since this one G we want to lock is not equal to black okay but G we want to lock the two we don't want to lock we use uh, back space key cannot use delete use the back space key okay then you remove the dollar sign then format and here outline in okay, the outline here then okay then okay so then you have all the this thing in it so if let's say I delete this one I delete until all this here so you see the total will automatically go here okay so this is how we do the uh, total to be uh, dynamic follow the items you have here so you no need to print sometimes when this one is a computer printed one maybe you don't need signature or what this is the technique somehow to the mainframe okay so if you like my channel please thank you